This is Andy Porowolf, Boxing News. I'm joined by Swedish heavyweight Otto Violin here in London. Otto, it was a pleasure to see you. You've got a big fight to talk about. Before we come on to that, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good, thanks. Finally, I have a big fight uh, to talk about. We, we've talked a lot over the years, so this is one of the best moments to talk. Yes, I followed you all around the world, and here we are. Yourself versus Anthony Joshua, December 23rd. Um, Otto, we did a Zoom interview a couple of weeks ago, and I mentioned to you there was rumours of you and Anthony, and you said you wouldn't want to risk giving up that position with the IBF because your main focus was challenging for world honours, and yet you're going and doing that on the 23rd of December. How, do you, how and why have things changed? I think that when you get, we get the call from the Saudi, Saudi Arabia, it's a great opportunity to fight Anthony Joshua. And, you know, I wasn't in a place when you asked me about the fight. I wasn't in that place because I had just fought Murat Gassiev and I was coming off a great win. I did not expect to fight again this year. But then Jolene, my manager, got the call about a week ago and we just felt like it was a really good opportunity and that's why we're here now. Only a week ago, Otto, um, when you first got that call, did you believe that there was a genuine chance it could happen on such short notice? Not really. Oh, not really. I didn't know. I didn't know. So Jolene got the call and then I was heading to the gym, talked to my trainer. I talked, hey, I said, we might get to fight Joshua um, in December. He said, okay, because I'm good doing strength conditioning. He said, okay, I got to switch the program up a little bit. Sent me a new program just to be safe. We said, okay, let's just do it just to be safe. If it happens, it happens. And then I'm, at least I'm ready for it. So, yeah. You're ready for it. You switch it up. And now you get to prepare, prepare for that former two-time unified world heavyweight champion in Anthony Joshua. Otto, how do you go about defeating Anthony Joshua? I think just being myself. I mean, I've been working for this my whole life. And I'm just so excited that I finally get this chance. I'm going to do everything possible to get the win and I think definitely I have the skill, I have the heart and I have the IQ to, to beat him so that's what I'm going to do. You've sparred him, you fought him in the amateurs, how much has he progressed since those past experiences? Well when we fought in the amateurs I think I was 18, he was 19, we fought again he was maybe 21, I was 20, something like that and then we sparred in 2016 before we fought Charles Martin and um, I think he probably was somewhat at his peak, I think, when we sparred in 2016. I think he might have peaked maybe 2018 or something. And then it's been, it's been tough for him. You know, he lost to Reese, got knocked out, and took a really big turn and changed trainers a lot. He's not with Rob McCracken anymore. And I think that it's been really tough for him trying to find himself. And he's, he seems kind of lost. He doesn't know, really know what his style is. And, when he was coming up, he was being aggressive, he was knocking people out, but now he's too worried about getting knocked out and losing again. So, it's, it's, I mean, it's easy for me to say. I'm, I'm sure he has a pretty hard life, actually, I think, now when everybody's watching him, knowing him, and just the, they expect so much from him. Also, do you feel like, from what you're saying, man, he's, this might be the time when he's slightly declining? Yeah, yeah, I think more than slightly. He's declined a lot, actually, so... He's obviously going to have demons in the past from past experiences with the South Pole and Alexander Usyk, now obviously yourself and Alexander, different fighters, but still, do you feel like those might be demons which he might struggle to overcome when he starts to kind of trying to readjust to fighting another South Pole and yourself? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a short notice fight too. I think uh, last week we had seven weeks, now it's only six weeks left and he's fighting a South Pole again, he's got a new trainer and so I think, I think it's going to be very hard for him to be 100% on the night. That's something I want to ask you about. He's brought Ben Davison in for this fight. He's got that Ben by reports that is Ben Davison's going to lead this fight and be in his corner instead of Derek James. Ben was in the corner for Tyson when you fought him. Um, just your thoughts on that link up and what Ben might bring. Well, whatever Ben can bring, he's not gonna be able to do much in six weeks. There's no time to prepare and get comfortable with a trainer in that short amount of time. I've been in my two trainers. Joey Gamash, my boxing coach, and Rooney Briggs, my strength and conditioning guy, for 10 years. And we really know each other, we trust each other. They trust me, I trust them. And they know whatever happens, they're going to tell me the truth. And they know that they're still going to be my coaches. So there's a real real trust and a real bond between us. And you can't, you can't get that in six weeks. So I think it's actually a good thing for me that he's changed in trainings again. Otto, this um, change in Anthony Joshua's style, you mentioned earlier on his career, is known for being more aggressive. Recently we've seen him take on more of a, a boxing approach, if you will, being a bit more meticulous with how he, go, how he goes about boxing. Um, how much more do you feel like that plays into your favour and do you feel like he's, like you said, maybe gun-shy a little bit? I think it's, I think it's great for me. It's great. I'm just going to, like I said, be myself and, you know, 
he, if he can't use his strength, I'm going to use mine. So it's going to be better for me, I think. We asked, I asked you after the Muragasia fight and beforehand, was you, did you have any concerns about the scoring? Obviously, Saudi Arabia is somewhat of a neutral ground, but AJ will go in as the, the favourite, the home fighter of some sorts, if you will, because of his past relationships out there. Do you want to try and take it out of the judges' hands? Do you feel like you could do that? That would be the best. That would be amazing. If I could stop Anthony Josh, I would be over the moon. I have to ask as well, though, Otto, there's a lot of talk about AJ fighting Deontay Wilder twice next year, some reports on that. Do you think there's any chances he's overlooking you already talking about that Deontay Wilder fight? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think that probably messes with him. He's, he's, he has that in mind. And it could be another, another positive for me that I'm just focused on this fight. This is what I've been working for so long. I feel like I haven't got my respect yet, but I really got a big opportunity now. And I'm going to show everyone that I'm one of the best fighters in the world. So I take it you've had no conversations with anybody in Saudi Arabia about further fights beyond December 23rd? No, like I said, Jolene got the call a week ago and then we took it from there. Just to get your thoughts on Wall, so I've got you on some of the fights on this card. Deontay Wilder, Joseph Parker, Otto, what are your thoughts on that? It's a good fight, I think. It's a good fight. Joseph, yes, coming off a good win. Wilder has been very inactive. He fought, I think, over a year ago. He beat Helenius in one round. So he had only one round then and then before that, I don't know when he fought last. So he's been very inactive. If Joseph can take it to him, uh, try to rough him up a little bit, push him back, then he can win the fight. We, but we all know that Wilder is a huge puncher and he can knock anyone out. So I still think that Wilder is the favourite, but I think Joseph has a chance. Filip Hergovic, Mark Demori, um, an interesting fight there, Otto. I know you'll be keeping an eye on it because of the rankings with Philip being number one in the IBF, but your thoughts on that? I don't really know Mark Demori. I, I think I've heard of him before, but... Uh, I don't know what to make of it. I mean, Hergovic should win. Obviously, they don't want to take any risk now when he's the number one with the IBF. IBF. See Daniel Dubois and Jarrell Miller as well on the card. Just your thoughts on Daniel's comeback fight against Jarrell? It's probably good. Uh, he fought not too long ago. I don't know how he's been feeling after, but uh, somewhat tough fight with Usyk, even though he did well there. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think that Jarrell hasn't really looked great since, he, since his comeback. So we see what kind of shape he shows up in, but I think that Dubois is the favourite to win that fight. Just a final one from me, Otto. We're expecting the Fury Usyk fight to be announced imminently. Just your thoughts when they share the ring. How does Tyson Fury Alexander Usyk play out? I I think it's going to be a very good fight and important fight for boxing. It's just amazing what what kind of fights we're getting now, and just having this card made in a week is just unbelievable. It must have never been done before. And then you get Fury Usyk, another really good fight, amazing fight, great for boxing. I do think that Fury still is the favourite, even though he didn't look that good last time out. But, like I said in another interview, Dubois really showed something with, with Usyk when he went down. I felt like it was, a good, it was a good shot. It's just a legal blow, in my opinion. And I felt like the referee did a, did a terrible job, was telling Usyk take more time to rest. I couldn't believe it. And um, I think Dubois deserves some respect for that. Then it was a little bit unfortunate what happened at the end. Of, kind of felt like he could have continued but I just want to say Otto before we wrap this up we've done a number of interviews over the years as you've mentioned but this is possibly the first time I've seen such a happiness within you with the exception of a Gassier fight how excited are you now for December 23rd to come around another chance on the big stage yeah it's just amazing I've been waiting for this for so long I've had times where with no uh, with no fights everything I'm in such a good position now so everything is just great the only thing that I wish was that my dad could be here, but that's, I'm sure he's, he's looking down on me and being very happy. So I'm sure he's a very proud man right now, and I'm sure he'll be even prouder watching you on December 23rd. I'm leaving a final word to yourself. Though. Anything you'd like to say to Anthony Joshua ahead of your fight in Riyadh on December 23rd? I don't have, have much to say to him. I'm going to focus on myself now, getting the best shape I've ever been, and just be ready for the fight, and I'm going to win the fight. Also, thank you for speaking to Boxing News. Thank you.